Hi, my name is Mark, and today we're going to talk about bike lights, especially the relight. 60% of the movements in Groningen are made by bike, primary movements. So everybody has these small thingies, lights on their bikes, because these usually break pretty fast in a city full of bikes. And these run out of batteries. Uh, and the business model is very simple, you don't make them uh, water uh, resistant. So, and it rains a lot in the Netherlands, so you have to buy them often. But then AX came with a very nice improvement. They made these rechargeable lights, which has various settings and can be charged via USB. A very nice solution, but since they are very nice and a little bit more expensive and very easy to mount and dismount they get stolen and the relight is uh, a fixed light and it's charged via the movement of the wheel itself uh, via magnetic uh, 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 induction they look very nice they're easy to mount so let's do a small review of these new lights mounting them is fairly easy you mount the magnet you put it on, then you uh, wrap this around your bike and via screw on the inside you make the band go shorter and then uh, it attaches itself. The only thing is that this is very soft metal as is the screw itself. So you do have a good chance of when you try to turn it too tight of screwing up the screw which is a big shame. They should have used better metals for it. And then when you turn the light the lights start flashing and that's basically it that's how the light works a few things I noticed well the first thing is um, uh, it's a very nice system but you do hear it when it's turning you do hear little bumps uh, and there's a little bit of friction uh, so it does have an impact on the on the friction of the of the tire itself it's not very big but it does have an impact uh, the second thing is it's now uh, daylight and it's still flashing I would have put a sensor in there to detect that it's that there's enough light during the day so that it stops flashing. Um, at night you won't get a beam also. Um, that's not a big issue, but if you want to use this lighting to see where you're going, that's absolutely impossible. Um, in totally dark areas I would go for a beam and with a little bit of a battery on the inside which charge during the day and then you can use it at, uh, at night when it's uh, when it's very dark as a beam and when there's some street light you can use it as a blinking light. The blinking light is very bright so people do see you're coming so for a security measure and that's where, they, where it's used for it's, it's very good. Um, the construction itself is a little, it, it is strong, but I don't know if it's strong enough to survive the, the city life here in Groningen, which is uh, hard on bicycles. But overall, it's a, it's a nice set of lights, but it's not perfect yet. So, to sum it all up, is it a good buy? Uh, I don't know. Uh, these are rechargeable, they're 35 euros, roughly. And if you take them off your bike, they're very nice, good lights, uh, which do work in the dark and you can even get a beam out of them. So you see somewhat see where you're going. Uh, you will never have to charge these. You will, they will never run out of batteries. Uh, they will always work. They're fairly easy to mount, but they are 60, roughly 60 euros. So are they, are they worth the investment? I don't know, but it's a very nice lighting system and, uh, and it's, uh, it, it wasn't a very nice Kickstarter project. Thanks, cheers.